and blacksmiths could win independence from an empire, if, if immigrants could leave behind everything they knew for a better life on our shores, if women could be dragged to jail for seeking the vote, if a generation could defeat a depression and define greatness for all time, if a young preacher could lift us to the mountaintop with his righteous dream, and if proud Americans can be who they are and boldly stand at the altar with who they love, then surely, surely, we can give everyone in this country a fair chance at that great American dream. of this country, the story of unwavering hope grounded in unyielding struggle. That is what has made my story and Barack's story and, and, and so many other American stories possible. And let me tell you something, I say all of this tonight, not just as First Lady, no, not just as a wife. You see, at the end of the day, my most important title is still Mom and Chief. my heart and the center of my world. But let me tell you, today I have none of those worries from four years ago, no. Not about whether Barack and I were doing what was best for our girls. Because today, I know from experience that if I truly want to leave a better world for my daughters and, and for all of our sons and daughters, if, if we want to give all of our children a foundation for their dreams and opportunities worthy of their promise. If, if we want to give them that sense of limitless possibility, that belief that here in America there is always something better out there if you're willing to work for it, then we must work like never before. And we must once again... <laughs> 